Ahoy hoy, welcome to Pembroke Plays. I'm Pembroke and today we're playing Gunpoint, a stealth puzzle game in which you play as a freelance spy who has to break into multiple high security areas. Played it a little bit, roughly about 40 minutes so far, and uh, I'm going to do a restart and just go through everything. Enjoy. <laughs> Did you just get thrown out of a plate glass window? Yes! No! Someone just got thrown out of your apartment window. That someone was me. <laughs> of course you're interested in this. Sel Selena Delgado. A job for me. Buzz me in. Head up the stairs. Head up. And someone's... Ah, poor guy. And he's out of the game. I'm called the lift. Get in the lift, go up in the lift. And there's nothing here because the person has just been thrown out. Jump down. Can't inspect the body or anything, so onto the subway. Congratulations on purchasing your new Bullfrog brand hyper trousers. Caution, a maximum strength jump may shatter glass ceilings, windows, and children. Outdoor use only. Hmm. <laughs> so I must say, I've, as I said, I've played about 40 minutes of it. I find it quite interesting. Conway, this is Melanie Rook. Selena Delgado worked for me. Do you have time to talk? Sure. I know you didn't kill Selena. I just watched the footage. You walked right in front of the security camera on your way to Selena's office after the shots were fired. But the East Point police won't look beyond an easy conviction. That footage puts you at the scene and I have to turn it over to them. Why do you care? Selena was a friend. I want her real killer caught. In fact, I want him dead, but once he's in a jail cell that becomes simpler to achieve. I have to hand the footage over if I have it. Let's make sure I don't have it. I've wiped my copy, but the camera feeds get backed up to data centres in five different off-site locations. If you can wipe them all, you're in the clear and the police will have to find the real killer. Why can't you wipe it remotely? If you could, if I, eh, if you could wipe it remotely, there wouldn't be any point in storing it remotely. Valid point. Head to the datasec facility at Port Heath. I'll make sure the front door is open, but you'll have to take it from there. Sounds easy enough. Upgrade available. Jump further. Missions. The footage of you at the murder scene has been automatically backed up to five different locations. This is the closest. Get in there and wipe the data. Okie dokie. On the top floor of this building, there's a bank of servers with a computer nearby. If you can get to that, you can wipe the evidence you were at our offices when Selena was killed. How do I get in? I've had one of our tech guys open the front door for you. Their electrical systems are hackable from there, but the obvious reasons their servers aren't. How do I wipe the data? I've seen your record. This will be well within your abilities. Once you're in, the scrubber script I'm sending you will auto-wipe anything with today's day ending in .mp4. Got it. Let's get started. Hop up, scale the wall like Spider-Man. <laughs> it's the little when you land. Get in the lift, head on up. And just over here is the first laptop. Good, good. Laptops are a bonus item in this game, you don't have to hack them, but there's one in every level. And now we're hacking the main computer. Job done. Out the window, victory jump! With a splat. Onwards. A plus. That's how we roll. Continue. Good job. Thanks. Our feeds are backed up at four more facilities, the others are slightly better guarded, but nothing too taxing. I'll give you the addresses in order of security, since frankly, I have no idea how good you are. 
Thanks for giving my personal crisis a difficulty curve. Any time. You'll see the mission briefing for a job in Proudmoor Drive. Take it. Another upgrade. Jump faster. The second backup from the cameras that caught you at the murder scene is on Proudmoor Drive. Get in, wipe the data, get out. The Westfield facility has better security. My guy can open the front door for you, but the door to the server room is secure. Two guards working tonight. Whoever's in the server room can probably open the door to it, so get him to do it for you. Got it. And here's the two guards here. First one facing away from me. Pounce attack. Pummel him. <laughs> For the record, you only actually have to punch them once. I just like to make sure. It's all about being thorough. Turn the lights off. Jump the guard, because I've had that incident before. Pummel him out. He's out of the game. Hack this. And we're clear. As well as the one on the laptop. Let's boogie. Yes, A plus. And a laptop. To get into the Ellis Street facility, you'll need to rewire the building's electrics. If you don't have a crosslink, buy one. To the shop! Crosslink. This now lets you hack different things inside the buildings. Jump a little bit further. And accept the job. I can't open the server room door on Ellis Street and there's no guards working tonight. You'll have to do it yourself. Easy enough. Laptop over here, get that hacked. And now we set this to the door. The game's quite good in that it like gradually builds you up in a bit more complexity over each ind individual level, so you've got a bit of time to learn things and whatnot. And now we've hacked that, we can open it with a light switch. Job done. As you can see, another window. Bam. Let's raid. A plus again. The next terminal's on Loxley Close. By the way, be careful with power sockets. They'll emit a shock if you cross-link them to something. Except... Ah, I didn't do any upgrades, but it's not a big deal. First guard. Boof. He's out of the game. Right. Because that guard is facing the stairwell, if we go up there right now, he will shoot me. So, we're going to hacking mode. And we want to... Turn the lights off. Actually, first, we want to close the door. And then if you'll notice, it's got a plug socket there. And what did we just learn about plug sockets? If you turn them on, you'll get electrocuted. So, I should not have closed that door, actually. But now, because they're linked, do them both at the same time. Door opens, guard gets fried, everybody's happy. Job done. Do we see a laptop? There's a laptop down there. Let's see if we can quickly get it. That is not a laptop. Hmm. Do we see a laptop anywhere on the screen? I do not. And save jumping up over the building. We'll now hack that door. And we can go out this way. Nicely done. A plus. Of course, you're going to get a lot of A pluses in the start levels because they're pretty straightforward and simple. Last one and you're clear. The data sec place on Gershwin and Forth is the biggest and most heavily guarded, but after th this there will be no evidence linking you to Selena's murder. Get my upgrades in. Can't buy anything. So let's do this. This is the last facility with a copy of the footage, but it's stored on three different servers. You'll need to get to three different terminals and hack each one. <laughs> Are you seeing anyone about your backup addiction? Well, you never know when a suspected murderer is going to try systematically erasing them. That's fair, yep. Kind of put me in my place there. Good luck. Now, we don't want to go in the front door, because there's a camera right there. So we'll drop down here. We're now inside the building. We've got a guard down there. We've got server 1, server 2, and server 3. 
So first thing we need to do is take him out of the game, then deal with him. We don't actually have to deal with him as I found out previously. So, turn the light off. When we turn that, it'll turn that light off. That guard will go over to that switch to try and turn it back on. I don't want him to turn it back on though. So we'll assign it to that door. And he will be stuck in the dark. So we'll switch that off. Sure enough. Ah! A little bit premature there. Yeah, guards one shot kill you in this. It's actually quite... I personally find it quite funny. Switch over to the door. Switch that light off. Wait until he passes the door. There we go. He'll now try it. And we knock him out. And that's us into server one. Right, next guard. As soon as we go up on that left, he will turn to face it. So we need to make that room dark. So we align that switch to that. But we also put that onto the socket. Now that actually won't do anything because the guard's not standing near enough to it. I just like to make sure they're assigned to something. And here he goes, he'll now come back. And then as soon as he goes by me, bang, job done. Hack the third one, second one, good, one to go. So looking at the third one up here, we've got one guard facing this way, we've got one light there, we've got the switch over there connected to it. So if we change this switch to go up to there, that'll turn the lights off, end that connection there, make it dark, head on up. Because that door here is closed, that guard will not come through and he will not shoot. Now, because it's dark, guards have a limited vision. So we can actually get right by him and take him out of the game. Hack this one. Do we see a laptop anywhere? Mm, nope. I don't see a laptop, but I'll probably have missed one anyway. And we're out. Oh, he opened the door. Oh, we had witnesses. Anyway. Well, I think that concludes our business. There's nothing left that links you to Selena's murder, so the East Point police are going to have to look for a little harder. If they don't find him, I will, and if they do, I'll know exactly where he is. I appreciate the help, whatever the reasons. Indeed. Rook is disconnected. End call. So that's the first section of Gunpoint. I hope you all enjoyed my brief little preview. And I hope you join me for the next part. Daddy bye.